Hello and welcome back. My name is Miss Becca and we're here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church for this special worship time for kids and their families. So I like to start off worship with some singing and dancing. So why don't you all go ahead and stand up and join me in some singing and dancing. B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. the last few weeks are probably ready for me to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. But I'm not going to. This week, we're going to take a little bit of a pause from the fruit of the Spirit to talk about asking God big questions. And what questions are big questions for God and big questions for us? So, we're going to put on our listening ears and our thinking caps, and we're going to listen to this story from the Bible. Hi, I'm Jen. Ever since I was a kid, I've always had lots of questions. You know, we're different, but we probably have that in common. We all wonder. We all have questions for God. Questions like, why am I here? And what's my purpose? What's my future gonna look like? Why am I different? And for me, it's, why am I little? So I still have lots of questions and I found a way to process them by writing them out and turning them into something beautiful. So I learned how to do calligraphy, which is just beautiful handwriting, but I love it. And when I write this way, it forces me to slow down. And when I write out my questions, 
then I know exactly what I want to talk to God about. Because I know that whatever questions I have, God can handle it and He loves to hear from me. What are some of your big questions for God? Do sometimes you wonder about things that seem just so big? But you know what? It's okay to ask God those questions. It's okay to go to God and say, what is my purpose? It's okay to go to God and ask, how big is the universe? God wants to know us. And part of God wanting to know us is God wants us to bring our full, entire selves to God. God wants to know what questions are in our minds and in our hearts. God wants to know what we worry about and what we're concerned about. Because no question is too big for God. There is nothing in your life that is too big for God to handle. And so it's okay when you have those big questions. We don't have to hide from them or pretend that we don't have them. We can go to God and ask God those questions. And you know what? We can also go to our parents and ask them those big questions as well. But sometimes our parents and our friends and our families don't always have the answers to our big questions questions. But God does, which is why I love to go to God with my big questions. I love to go ask God everything because God can handle all of it. God can handle everything that I ask him. Why don't you all stand up and do some more singing and dancing with me?
great you are at singing and dancing. So now we're going to pray together. So I want you to put your hands together, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for letting me ask big questions. Help me to search for answers and to become closer to you. Thank you for my friends and my family. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining me this week. I post a new video every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. And we have in-person or online worship at 10.30 a.m. It has been great spending this time with you. And I hope to see you next week. Bye now. Thank mm -hmm. you.